Some people are just so bad. Or so good. They called out. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so good so at being good. bad. Yeah, it's so good. And right now in Congress, we have some doozies. So let's go. Josh, let's take care of that. The Republicans are having a real bad couple of weeks when it comes to health care. First, the CBO report came out saying the bill would kick 24 million people off their health insurance. Then, after negotiations with the Freedom Caucus failed, they pulled the bill, only to have Trump demand a vote by Friday. Finally, when it became clear to even Donald Trump that the bill was going to fail, they pulled the plug, meaning Trump voters could breathe a sigh of relief as they were saved from the incompetence of the man they voted for. Why are Republicans having such a hard time when it comes to health care? I think the reason is pretty clear. I'll stay on the policy to 26. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm curious, what is it we're mandating? Would the gentleman you? yield? Yeah, sure. What about men having to purchase prenatal care? Wait, I'm just, every, well, I, is you, that not correct? I, I, Reclaiming my time. And should they? Reclaiming my time. Whoa, 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 There's no whoa, such whoa. thing as a la carte. Regular order. Regular. There's no such thing as a la carte insurance, John. You don't, you don't get the... That's the point. That's the point. That. We want the consumer to be able to go to the insurance market and be able to you negotiate tell, on a plan they want. Reclaiming my to... time. Whoa, you tell whoa. me what insurance company will do that. There isn't a single time. insurance company in the world the, the that does that, John. Time. The so you're talking about something that doesn't exist. Oh, that explains it. Republicans don't know how healthcare works. John Shimkus seems to think that healthcare is like the buffet at the Golden Corral, that you can pick and choose what kind of coverage you want. But that's not how it works. Insurance only works by spreading the cost of risk across a large group of people so that the burden of cost doesn't fall on those who need it the most. So yes, you have to buy health insurance that covers prenatal health care. Just like a woman has to buy insurance that covers prostate exams or a Viagra prescription. But Chimkis isn't the only Republican who doesn't seem to quite grasp the concept of health insurance. Even House Leader Paul Ryan doesn't seem to quite get it. Here is basically what happens today. Under the current system, we have costs driving up. On the current system, options are going away, as I just described. Choices are fleeting, prices are going up, and under the current system, the, the fatal conceit of Obamacare is that we're just going to make everybody buy our health insurance at the federal government level. Young and healthy people are going to go into the market and pay for the older, sicker people. So the young, healthy person is going to be made to buy health care, and they're going to pay for the person you know, who gets breast cancer in her 40s or who gets heart disease in his 50s. So take a look at this chart. The red slice here are what I would call people with pre-existing conditions, people who have real health care problems. The blue is the rest of the people in the individual market. That's the market where people don't get health insurance at their jobs, where they buy it themselves. The whole idea of Obamacare is the people on the blue side pay for the people on the red side. The people who are healthy pay for the people who are sick. It's not working, and that's why it's in a death spiral. Here's how we propose to tackle this problem. We want to have a system where we encourage states with federal funding to set up risk pools and reinsurance so mechanisms. In so for example, in Ryan's world, healthy people shouldn't be burdened with the cost of covering sick people. Except that's literally how health insurance works. I mean, are Republicans really this dumb? And the answer is obviously no. The Republicans know how health insurance works. They know why the ACA sought to cover prenatal care, and they know that health insurance only works if the healthy cover the costs of the sick. But by doing all that, that will mean higher taxes on the rich. In the Republican worldview, there are winners and there are losers. The winners get all the breaks, and the losers get what they deserve. They say that Obamacare takes away your freedom, but all they offer in return is a turd sandwich. And that's your pick for Trump's loser corner, House Republican leadership. You're a loser.